In case it's not clear from the other content on my channel, I absolutely love the Phoenix Wright and Professor Layton series. When I heard that they were going to have a game together, I said, yeah, you know what, that makes sense. It's not like 21 Jump Street and Men in Black where a crossover just seems kind of random. These are two series from the same time period and with similar ideas that come together for one great game. Many could say that this is Reese's Peanut Butter the game. The story is basically this. A young girl in London named Espella Cantabella is chased after by a mysterious force and seeks the age of archaeologist Professor Layton and his apprentice Luke Triton. When Espella is suddenly captured, Layton's investigation leads him to a strange book, which transports him and Luke into a strange medieval city known as Labyrinthia. The town is allegedly home to witches who hide in shadows, and is controlled by someone called the Storyteller, who allegedly has the power to turn anything he writes into reality. The town's knights of the Inquisition, led by High Inquisitor Lady Darklaw, prosecute and execute all by fire discovered to be witches in the town's witch court. The Inquisition seeks to locate the great witch Bazella, the mythical leader of all witches who caused Labyrinthia's devastating legendary fire thousands of years ago. Meanwhile, Phoenix Wright and his assistant, Maya Fay, who have traveled to London as part of an exchange program, encounter the same book and are also transported to Labyrinthia City. There, they team up with Professor Layton and Luke to defend Espella against the Inquisitor's accusations of her being a witch. So that's the basic plot of the game, and I really like that they tried to go for a whole fairy tale theme, like medieval theme, like Salem witch hunt kind of themes thrown in there too. This isn't like any kind of new ground for Professor Layton, but for Phoenix Wright at least, he's completely out of his element, and that's what makes it pretty fun. Although the game was set up well, and it has a few interesting twists in the main plot, I just didn't find the overall story very compelling. The new characters were kind of weak and not all that interesting, and the ending was really bad. Like, I couldn't believe how long it was dragging on, how little sense it made, like, I was just extremely unimpressed with that ending. Other than that, it's a serviceable story. The game starts out a little slow, as, well, any crossover has to do twice the work when introducing things, but soon the events of the plot are in full swing. I was really impressed, but not surprised by, how well each of these two series fit together. Professor Layton and Phoenix Wright are kind of mirrors of each other. They both value creative thinking, and they stick to their guns no matter the challenge. But, Layton is suave, cool, and unshakable, while Phoenix is emotional and panicked most of the time. It's fun to see these two characters collide, and the game does actually play with their interactions rather well. The titular characters and their assistants all have the opportunity to interact with one another, and it was immensely satisfying for me, as a fan of both series, to see all of these characters interact in humorous and interesting ways. Overall, although the main plot was pretty weak, it is serviceable and not a bad way to have these two characters interact, which, let's be honest, that must have been a tough way to pull this off, like having these two series come together, and I think they did an okay job considering what they had to work with. The gameplay is pretty cool. You switch from Professor Layton's gameplay, where you walk around and investigate around town, you solve puzzles, and you look for clues. These latent sections were pretty standard, and I like that a lot of the puzzles felt more creative than the other games in the series. Though part of that is that this one was on the 3DS, and they were able to do much more visually interesting puzzles than, oh, solve how much water is in this cup. I do agree with some of the criticism that the puzzles in this game are easier than average in this title though, but that was almost a plus to me, since it made the gameplay time more manageable here, because you're basically playing two games in one. Speaking of that other half, the courtroom battles are still pure Phoenix Wright goodness here. But there is a huge twist in that you aren't working in an actual courtroom, but an old-timey town, 
so you definitely feel like a fish out of water here and it adds to the tension. The only new thing about the court stuff here is that you have to really cross-examine multiple people at once, and as a law student, I was really, really trying to suspend my disbelief because there's absolutely no way anything close to this would pass in courtrooms today, at least in Canada. But it is a game and the town is definitely not modern, so it kind of makes sense that something like this would fly. Anyway, these mob cross-examinations are an interesting new feature, although I don't think that the mysteries themselves were particularly more interesting or more difficult than your regular Phoenix Wright games. One cool thing is that you can use hint coins to blast through some parts, but the quirky characters that you cross-examine make this one just as fun as the main series title in my opinion. Overall, the gameplay is really really cool because you basically get two games at one. You have your Professor Layton side, where you do a bunch of puzzles, and then your Phoenix Wright side, where you jump in and out of court, trying to figure stuff out, and... The graphics in the game are really great. I absolutely love the design of this world, as Labyrinthia definitely has a mysterious, ancient aura about it that I absolutely adore. The locations are really cool, and the character designs, as usual, are just pretty fun. It's a great looking game, and I really have nothing to complain about. The music in the game is great too. It has its own unique style that properly meshes the musical themes of both series into one great title. It was really well done, and I particularly enjoyed the main theme, the cornered theme, and a song that plays in a particular bar later in the game. To conclude, Phoenix Wright vs. Professor Layton is a worthy crossover game that does an impressive job of meshing these two series together. The best parts about this game is that the gameplay basically has you playing two games in one, and there's a lot of interaction between these lovable protagonists. The writing is still sharp, but there are a few issues with the game, mainly being the lackluster story, the bland original main characters, etc. If you're a fan of either series, or both, then trying this one out is a no-brainer. But even if you're looking to break into either of these series, then this might be the best place to do it, since people seem to say that the puzzles aren't that challenging, and because the plot really doesn't carry any consequences into either series. So if you're looking to get into either one of these series, then I'd say this is the one to start with. I recommend this one for sure, guys. Thanks for watching.